We saw this exercise in the previous video in the playlist. The temperature in degrees Celsius of a greenhouse is taken every hour. Draw a graph for a 24 hour period. Implement the solution using the Python programming language. I used ChatGPT to write the Python program and I did so by issuing two prompts. The first prompt asked it to generate 24 random numbers to represent the temperature. The second prompt asked for the production of the Python program. Within that video, I asked you to see if you could produce a prompt that would produce the program, but just one prompt replacing the two that I used. And really, this is what this video is about. But instead of me asking ChatGPT to do it, I'm going to give the one prompt to Bing Chat and see how that gets on producing the Python program. The prompt I've come up with is here. And it is the prompt for Bing Chat. It says, write a Python program to draw a graph of temperature against time. The unit of time is from 0 to 23 in one hour slots. For illustration, generate appropriate random values of temperature between 17 and 23. So I'm hoping that Bing Chat will realise that I need 24 randomly generated temperature values and I'm specifying it should be between 17 and 23, which are some typical temperatures you might find in a greenhouse. So let's see how Chat GPT gets on with this prompt. You can see I've placed the prompt in here. I'm now going to click onto this arrow and let's see what happens. And it's going on now to produce me the Python program. Here it comes. If you look here, it says, here is a Python program that generates random temperature values between 17 and 23 and plots them against time in one hour slots from 0 hundred hours to 2300 hours and here is the computer program and down here it says this program uses the random.uniform function to generate random temperature values and the matplotlib library to plot the data you can run this code to see the resulting graph so what i'm going to do now is to copy this code which i'll simply do by highlighting it all by dragging my mouse right clicking on the mouse coming up here to copy, clicking on that, and now I can go across to an appropriate Python editor, paste this code in, and run it to see if indeed the program does what it's supposed to do. Here we can see the computer program. I've pre-saved it, so what I'm now going to do is come here to run, click on run, and we'll wait to see what we get. And you can see what we have here is a graph of temperature against time. So the computer program written in Python by Bing Chat has done precisely what I wanted it to do. So we can see all I've done here is produce a natural language prompt, give it to Bing Chat, and it's produced a Python program for us. I've gone back to Bing to emphasize this point. You can see it's produced as a program. Now, to be clear, it's a very strong and useful tool to use when you're coding. And I know what all of these lines of code are for. But the thing is, when you're using it to learn, what you now need to convince yourself of is that you know what each of these lines do. Otherwise, you're just turning yourself into a copying and pasting individual who will gain no skills in coding. So your responsibility when you're studying this subject is by all means use Bing Chat, but then look at the code and ask, well, what is it doing? What I would recommend now, if you were unsure as to the functionality of this code, from this brief description it's given down here, you can ask chat to comment the code for you. So I'm now going to enter another prompt asking you to do that. Now if you looked at the last video I did when we used chat GPT 
it did put the comment in for us but here it hasn't so i'm going to ask it to do so now you can see here i've simply said please add comments to the code you have produced so i'll now click on this arrow and let's see what chat does for us and you can see it appearing with comments and it goes on to say here i hope these comments help clarify how the code works i'll just consider a couple of the comments if i look at this one it says import the random library for generating random numbers and i would like to point out the hash symbol in front here now that's given a different name depending where you live in the world but in the uk it's called the hash symbol and if you look here this one says create a list of time values from 0 to 23 and it's indicating what this program statement is responsible for doing many people would look at this program statement and wonder what this did well you can see here i'm asking chat to tell me what it does by writing what does the following do and then i've wrote out for and there's the underscore in range and in brackets you can see there's 24 so i'll now come here and click on this arrow and let's see what bing can tell us about this part of the program statement and here is the answer appearing in front of us now there we have it it's give us a description of what that bit of the code will actually do for the program so let's hope you would be able to understand it if not you can say can you give me a simpler example so that's something you could type in and so on so you can see this is a very good tutor you can use chat and get it to teach you things i wish i had it when i was a student please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time i upload a video Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.